sleeping until the midnight. Hey, <laughs> what's up, guys? Things have progressed. Things have progressed to the point where we're going. We're taking this to a fucking court. Denton's fucking taking this to a court, bro. I got a lawyer and everything. <laughs> They're in trouble for unlawfully detaining him. <laughs> they shouldn't have unlawfully detained him and then lied about it. I would have dropped the case if they admitted it. We're meeting our lawyer here now. We are smack on time. Ah! <laughs> Lawyer man! What? What is that? What is that backpack? I hate it! What? It's all changed! Ace, I ain't going in there they're gonna lock me in the closet again! The layout's changed. Ah! Stay away from me! They're gonna lock me in the closet again! Get away Jay. from me! Benton, hey, do you need good to see ya. Hey, do you need medical service? Get away from me! They're gonna lock me in the room again! Help! Not gonna lock you anywhere. Let's come Nobody over here. Let's come over room. here. Jesus Christ. Let's come over here. They're gonna do it again! Good morning, Ace. Good morning, Denton. How are we today? Distraught, um, I couldn't sleep because of the emotional stress that I have been faced with. I've been trembling. I have been having nightmares of that fabled room since. And I've noticed they've redecorated it in an attempt to disguise their fraud. <laughs> Obstruction of evidence. Yes. We have a thick case, my soupy friend. <laughs> we do. And I see that you are very distraught from it, so we will get you a psychiatric evaluation. And that should be able to uh, prove our case. Yes. I would... Would, I, would you like me to ex go the, the whole incident from start to finish? Yes. Let me grab my secretaries, all right? Yes. Yes, sir. You wait right here. I shall do so. They vandalized my backpack as well. Bro, I hate the new backpack. I hate it. I, I, I hate it. It's fucking... I don't like that. Are you, are, you want me to ride on that? Are you sure? Yeah, I'll bomb. You won't be well, like... I'm pissed I won't piss it in... I'm, okay. Don't piss much. Yeah, so long, dicks. To get. Hey, shut the fuck up, you dumbass. See, see how I'm hey, treated? Can you guys come to the uh, courthouse just so we can meet for with no him? Reason. Uh, I'm not going right, to take up. I was fish. detained for no reason. Right. Get on that kettle of fish, mate. Up, yeah, that's right. See how they treat me? Hey, I gave you five dollars the other day. I wasn't talking about you. Oh. Is this all the medical people? They're awful to me. This thing goes fast. <clears throat> this beauty. Oh, you know, one thing I want to go fast is, is, um, the okay. suing of that lady. This ain't, is this the one? Absolutely. Yep. Oh, God, the How much here. money do you think? It, it, How much money? $10,000. Cause I, I'm, I'm Not shook. Quite. The only place that I feel safe, I no longer feel safe. I think it'll be about 5000 then but, um, five thousand. My, my law firm does take forty percent. Shit here now, mate. This is a slam dunk. It's really, it's really fucked up because she, we, she, we, she, she lied and everything, and like they all colluded against me. We may be able to, um, because it's a civil rights violation, we may be able to charge. And five thousand dollars. Aaron Bill just resubscribed for eleven 3, months. for legal fees. Interesting. So you won't be having to pay the legal fee. Holy shit! Look at this violation. place. 
and maybe some punitive damages as well for them. Yeah, neglect. yeah, my punitive was definitely Punit damaged. Look at this. Punitive can punitive can get up to four times as much, so it could be up to twenty k depending on what judge we get. Excellent. Well, I've prepared all of my statements. I'll remember it as clear as yesterday because oh, I was. Let's put you on the stand. Yes. I was quite clearly traumatized. What questions do you want me to ask you? Would you like me to give. I, I, I'll give you my full statement. Okay. Okie dokie. Hey, um. What nationality is your last name? Um. I have no idea. I'm British, but I don't know if Sprinkle is naturally British. <laughs> well, I you... think it is. Sprinkle's on... Why do you ask that? <laughs> Curiosity? I was just... I, I keep forgetting about uh, Sparkle and Sprinkle. A Sprinkle. Sprinkle. Hello! Hi! I'm so distraught and emotionally distressed. The only place that I was safe at is no longer is safe because they detained me illegally. <laughs> this is sleaze. <laughs> do, do one of you want to be uh, taking notes during this? This is pure sleaze, bro. We're literally just... Oh, Audrey, this is your cakes. Okay. If you need any assistance, you can uh, call me. You're in cakes. I like cakes. All right, well, I hey, so were we were, when are we ready when you are? I object, Your Honor. Huh? <gasps> Objection! Compensatory given psychological. Oh my. Um, Hello. Are you okay? I'm fine. Objection sustained. Counsel <sighs> will rephrase the question. So I was There's just saying to my Shit! I didn't I study for this. Get, I believe we can get five thousand in compensatory. As well as uh, three thousand in legal fees. Yes, and look at, listen up to this. To four times impunitive, depending on how nice the judge is. Listen, but definitely five thousand. It looks like a lot of psychological distress. Oh, you wait, mate. <laughs> he, he doesn't seem okay. <laughs> He's not. He's not okay. He, uh, I'm not. The I'm not. Has wrong done him. Audrey, <laughs> your first question. I'm ready. Okay. Are you sure you're ready? I'm ready. I can do this. You sure? I'll try and get my ass in the seat, but it's a bit it's a bit squishy. Yes, I am ready. Do you want to go in the judge's seat? Oh, oh, no. That's a felony. Is it? It's a crime. Impersonating a judge is a Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Denton, can yes. you tell me if... if just take this slow if this triggers off any memories for you. Yes. Um, I understand. Yes. So I just... I was at Pillbox Medical Center uh, seeking out medical attention and generally enjoying my day. I was enjoying my time in the lobby when all of the other doctors started um, coming on duty. I was walking around the lobby... Greeting everyone happily, as I do. People were coming in, and I said, Hello, welcome to Pillbox. Because I'm a nice guy. I was the doctor back in England. And I was just happy to be in a place with fellow like-minded individuals. After some time, I decided to explore the hospital. And, the, and see what was around. I went into, I believe it was at the time, Ward B where I lit a cigarette and began to enjoy the splendors of the hallway. I was then approached by the head doctor. I do not recall her name, but I'm sure the court does. And I was asked, I was told, Dr. Denton, since you are a doctor, do you not find it more acceptable to smoke outside? I agreed with her. However, I've never informed anyone that I was a doctor or an attending physician of Pillbox Medical Center. I have simply introduced myself as Dr. Denton Sprinkle of Devonshire. I call it the three Ds. Dr. Denton of Devonshire, England. 
Upon upon being asked to smoke outside of Ward B, I, I, I deceased my cigarette and walked up to the coffee machine, which was on the right-hand side of the door at the time. I, I obtained a coffee, and I thought I decided to leave out the um, opening doors. During my time leaving, I was then called by the uh, head doctor. What is her name, by the way? Does that, anyone know? I'm unsure. There's a, there's a few The lady doctors. I'm suing, the detainee lady. Well, what does she look like? I don't know. Brown hair. Called she. Uh, uh, she's the head honcho, I think. She's the one who detained me, but I just don't want to keep calling her Doctor Head Lady. Is it Ruby? Maybe. I can call her Doctor Placeholder, unless Ace is finding it. I think he is. Okay, M Mr. Denton, Doctor can you Francesca. Doctor Francesca. Okay, let's carry on, gang. So. I was then obtaining the coffee when Dr. Francesca said to me, Hey Denton, would you like to see some of our new equipment? As a doctor of, 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 a, of a separate hospital, I thought, Wow, this is very nice and cordial of them to invite me around into some of their rooms and show me some of their advanced equipment. So I agreed. I said, of course I would like to see that. Following Dr. Francesca, she led me into a observation room which i found out afterwards where i walked in where she immediately walked out of the door without any any conversation and locked the door behind me immediately after her locking the, the door i shouted the exact words what are you locking me in for no word was uttered and i began to get scared fear went up and down of my spine since i have multiple times been held a hostage <laughs> and I've been abused because of my appearance physically which is discrimination I then began to get even more distressed and I began to feel that I was going to be executed for medical experiments or perhaps harvested for my organs I then decided to strip down to my underpants and grease myself up because I was fighting for my life. The chances of survival were very slim in my mind. I was scared. Then, shock, horror, the door was opened. I readied myself for a beating and I saw Dr. Poppy, Officer Poppy, come through the door with a baseball bat on her back. I was shocked and scared. She then started going, ah, oh, ah, as I replied, ah, oh, ah, likewise. She then informed me that she was unaware that I was in this room. I then multiply, multiple times stated to her that I had been unlawfully detained and that I required freedom. I, clearly distraught by me being detained in a room unlawfully, she granted my wishes, leaving the door after leaving the room after about 60 seconds of detonation. I noticed an officer and Dr. Francesca colluding in the lobby. I ran up to them and began to explain my predicament, stating that I had been unlawfully detained. Excuse me a minute. I have to just get myself. I gotta... Was that was that Sergeant Marine? That was the sergeant, yes. Unfortunately, he seemed to not be interested in what I was saying due to the doctor being busy and colluding with him. Okay, um, one moment, I must sip water. <sighs> ah, I'm visibly short, as you can see. Um, so, the, so, after approaching the law enforcement officer, I was very distraught and I, I explained that I wanted to press charges for being unlawfully detained due to false pretense and I I was questioning him and the doctor lady. I asked the doctor lady, uh, did you or did you not lead me into that room? She then replied with the exact words, I did not, in front of a law enforcement officer. 
And then I immediately followed up with the question of, well, if you did, how did I end up in that room? Which she did not reply. Which then, further down the line, she verbally claimed it was a misunderstanding. Which I am absolutely disgusted by. The whole focus of the whole incident was me claiming that I was a doctor, which I did not once state to anyone that I was an attendant of Pearlbox Hospital. I was simply there to meet with like-minded individuals, which then I was treated like a common villain. And that is my statement for the most part. Hey, Ace, just on your objection, uh, he, the, uh, one of the exemptions to the hearsay rule is if it is a statement made by the opposing party. The opposing party in this case is Rooney, who committed the alleged act of unlawful imprisonment, so it would be admissible. I can't understand him. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know that. What was claimed as hearsay? statements about not knowing that she had locked you in the room she was in the presence of a law enforcement officer and multiple people it's not hearsay if there were multiple witnesses however i'm sure that multiple of these witnesses will collude with her since she openly lied and committed a crime by stating that she did not lead me under in there under false pretense which she did so witnesses we have officer bobby correct security there Security. were Security. There were a lot of doctors in the room at that time. There was some lady who had like oh. weird makeup on her cheeks. There was a guy with a beehive haircut. There were loads of EMS people. There was a lot of people there. The um Dr. Francesca, Poppy Florian working security, and two thirteen Sergeant Daniel Marino. <laughs> and you guesstimate that it was roughly 60 seconds that you were locked up? Is that correct? Th yes. And it, it, was, yes. it was long enough to put me in an extremely distressed state due to no understanding and no explanation to why I had been locked in there. The fact that Dr. Francesca immediately walked out after me being in there and I, I saw her physically lock the door... Sh it it shook me to the core. I was tricked. I was I was I was I was besmirched, and and led in there under false pretense. I understand, sir. And if, if you don't mind talking about it, um, your previous history. I have been you said that it brought up. Yes, I have been. I have been. I have been bullied my entire life since I I I left England. Now, and since I come to America, I have been. Tortured by people under bridges. I have been I have been held hostage used as a hostage kidnapped beaten up in alleyways And the one place where I felt safe was pillbox medical center under the guise of under the supervision of dr Francesca and they they betrayed my trust and their medical neutrality <laughs> I need a cigarette. Oh, we're man. in the courtroom. This is America. Right. You're allowed to smoke in smoke the courtroom. No, yeah. It's now, if you don't mind me asking, you're gonna get cancer one day, talk. Audrey. You know what? At least it's on my own um, on a court. A lot of people forget that you could smoke in courtrooms in eight, 1985 because of the way that smoking's changed. A lot of people forget that you can ba you could basically smoke anywhere in 1985. Mr. Denton, would you be okay with the psychological evaluation? Of course. Okay. We'll and need multiple. Just keep, just, just keep in mind, it, you will need to revisit Pillbox. <laughs> They're done at a separate facility next to Pillbox, and also we can be in attendance at the same time if it makes him feel more comfortable. That would be... I, can, I, I trust my lawyers. I can bring some gold stickers if that helps. I am not a child. <laughs> Everyone likes gold stickers. I'm, Mr. Denton, am I your favorite person? You are the only person I trust in the entire world. You have sought justice and fairness for me from the moment I met you. Mr. Denton, over the next three days, are you able to uh, have psychological evaluations done with that man? Anytime, any place, Ace. Uh, Fabulous. Denton? Uh, uh, yes, I, Dr. I Squeaky. Like 
I'd like to ask you a question. Of course. Um, in this case, who would you deem, if you can name them, the most important witness? Uh, Officer Poppy, since she was the one who freed me from my chasm. Thank you. Wait, she's the most important because she freed you? In my opinion, yes, because uh, Dr. Francesca, uh, when she did lead me in there under false pretense, she then lied about it to the officer openly. Um, she also with that she also then it's a, con a conflicting statement saying that it was a misunderstanding that she led me in there and locked me in there. Um, and Officer Poppy was the one who freed me from that uh, place uh, after I informed her multiple times that I was in there. Um, illegally. Unless, unless you think otherwise, Ace. I, I think, I think they're all important witnesses. I, I have a follow-up question, if you don't mind, Mr. Denton. Yes, orderly. <laughs> okay, it, is it, you like Ace, is it because of the top hat? If I, if I wore a top hat, would I be just as cool? Or? I think if you're all dressed identical with top hats, you would all be my favorite people. Well, they would they would tie for second of course. I want to be first. Like, look at my cool tie. I know, but Ace so promised me money. <laughs> it's not a promise, it's a hope. I can't it's an I can promise you craft glue and glitter. I'm not a child. I think <laughs> everyone likes craft glue and glitter. I was a doctor once! I am an educated man! I just take a lot of drugs sometimes. Br bring it bring him some needles. And I was Ace. a model once where I just had to stand there and look pretty. May I without may actually I, having to talk. May I state something which from might record, be yes. construed from the record or completely ignored. I was wearing my old physician attire. However, I was wearing no identifiable badges stating or claiming that I was a doctor. Well, it's not illegal to wear a white coat. Yes, exactly. There we go. And a stethoscope. Simply to monitor my heart stroke. condition that I have, which was alleviated due to my stress. Alleviated means it went away. Elevated I due to my stress. Stethoscope is too big of a word. I just write Steffi. Spell it out. Steffi. Yeah, old Steffi. S T E F I S scope. Go on, go on, Ace. What are you going to say? Don't all the doctors name their Steffi scopes? Yes. Mine was called... What's your one? Uh... Um... Horatio Nelson. <laughs> I thought you were more of a, like, a Pamela Glade type of... No, I, I named him after a, a, an 18th century general. <laughs> Admiral. I don't know. Maybe, uh, Audrey should bring you some gold stuff. Maybe I should wear a damn top hat. You should come dressed as a, as a doctor, to, or at least half a doctor, so we can say, look, she's not posing as a doctor, she's just wearing a white coat. You should wear your white coat when we go to court. I will. If we go to court, I mean. Or you can wear Last a suit. Last time I saw someone wearing a white coat, it was at the strippers. What kind of strippers? I don't want to talk about it. Sexy nurses? Yeah, it turns out the icing sugar wasn't icing sugar. Oh, Lord. It was flour. Um, during this whole endeavor, the whole, the whole nonsense was focused on discrediting me as a doctor rather than uh, reassuring me that I was not illegally detained. They, they were ignoring all of that. They were just trying to pin the blame on the Denton. Witness to put on the steps. One, one note I'd like to bring up. Is, remember the whole graffiti case? Yeah. Somebody graffitied my name next to the bathroom or the, the water facilities of the hospital, which said Dr. Denton Sprinkle MD. Now, I am well known for being the doctor. I have fans. I have treated people in the alleyways with home remedies, not medical conditions. Right, that one from the record. Wiped. But I never put that there. Good. I. I don't claim to be a physician of Pillbox Medical Center. Your testimony will be invaluable. 
Also, they also they they've destroyed evidence, haven't they? Absolutely. I object, Your Honor. Wait. Down? They remodeled pillbox after this. They Just... remodeled pillbox <laughs> to hide the evidence. <laughs> Disgusting, Ace. If you ask me. If you ask me, I believe it's absolutely putrid. What does putrid mean? Is that like a type of yogurt? Like my scent. So. It's a type of yogurt. What? What is that new um, cologne you have on, Mister Dempsey? Uh, it's called Eau de la Possum. What's putrid? Is that like what type of yogurt is that? Is Eau de la Possum. Yum. <laughs> Very musky. It's fat free. <laughs> Pisses at you as well what out the bottle. Fat free. Yeah. Yogurt is not. Yogurt is the fatty part. Yogurt of the cow is shits. cow from from cow titties. I know this. I was wearing cow shoes before. You make it's shaking up cow titties. Yeah. This is an ace in a hole. This case, if you ask me. Absolutely. I Motion don't... for summary judgment. We need to get a sworn from you, Mister Sprinkle. What does that? Okay. What? 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 Does, I thought I just gave that. Uh. It should probably be in the presence of a law enforcement officer. And you should probably be Miranda Rose. Can I get off the stand now? We, uh, you want to get off? No, no, not, not here. Like... <laughs> Aubrey, Audrey, Audley. They, someone stole my backpack. Now I got this tartan one. It looks fucking stupid. I mean, yeah, it looks like the one that Ace person. had. I had a better Mr. one. Than this. Yes, sir. Um, do anything you say on the stand was a lie or no? No, nothing was a lie. That was the honest truth. All the lies were told by half of the people the in pills. Pillbox. The truth and nothing but the truth. That's right. So Audrey, help of me, God. Can you, can you put those notes into my uh, pocket once you're done with them? So I can uh, write up a sworn affidavit and then protect uh, you from going on the stand. You want me to slide my notes into your pocket? Only once you Do you want to watch me while I do you want like direct eye contact while I do it? <laughs> yes. Probably with your tongue out. <laughs> That's a little no. What? <laughs> I'd like to just add well, I was on my way out of the hospital when I was drawn back in. Oh <laughs> two birds with one stone. That was an ace in the hole. That was two aces with one uh, boot. King. One, one king hit. You got purple line shoes. Those, that's very impressive, ma'am. Oh, that's squeaky. Is you, as you, uh, what is you, is you paralytic, paralegal? Yeah, I can be a paralytic. I'm going to get drunk just... now to celebrate. Hey, hey, you need to be pretty sober if you want to be making an affidavit, mister. It's Alan Crane. What the fuck are you... <laughs> um... <laughs> hey, uh, boss? Ah, run away! Run away! That was, that was a good way to put the notes in my pocket. Outside. Jesus, Ace, if you want to get your hole, then just, just say and we'll leave. I wanted an Ace in the hole. <laughs> Alright, so what are we saying then, guys? The, the nearest Let's go get you is... psych evaluation. Yes. I'm a, people seem to think that I'm fucking crazy, but I ain't crazy, I'm just smelly. There's a big difference. What does this guy do? What you want, mate? Community service. Suck yeah. my teats. Holy he doesn't fuck. really talk what? much. You guys took a lot of notes. That was great. Alright, let's go then, gang. Let's go get drunk. Maybe later when we're off the clock, mister. Uh, hey, do you like hauling oats? I'll do oh, anything that you want me to. It's a good song. Hold on, it's singers. 
We go make millions, guys. Trust me. I got loads of cases for you. Corruption's prime. And uh, Mrs. Aubrey, you got some gum on your shoe, love. You gotta get a little jump off that. There you go. I can't go for that. Uh, no, no, no. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a thing. I want the newspaper. Oh, it's, yes, it's new. Wait until it like says, a lizard? Denton makes millions from court case. If by millions we mean up to $10,000. Millions of pennies. 10,000 is in fact millions of pennies. You're a smart man. Oh, I am. <laughs> okay, so it's Psyche Val, is it? Uh-huh. Perfecto. That's Spanish for perfect. And then we need we need to trust you to attend two more the following two days with the same I, doctor. I know Spanish as well. Bueno. Lamp. Lampido. <laughs> Tequil. Tequila. Popido. Tequila la. Crescendo. <laughs> So are these got to be consecutive psyche vowels? Yeah, it's going to be one after the other after the other three days in a row. I, and I might not be up at this time every day, so I need to be able to have trust in you, Mr. Denton. I can do that every day. That's Believe not a problem. Me. Believe me, I must trust you because this is what our money depends on. And, and of I, course, our justice. And you get a gold star. And I have to inform them of my, my, my past trauma. And my trauma at the Did time. You know what Audrey said? Yes, the gold star, which uh, is I'm not a child. I know everyone likes gold stars. Don't you dare. Forget you know about me. Don't you what? dare. Don't, 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 don't you. Oh! oh. All I'm you saying, Mr. Dungeon, is you can you can sue him for money just then. I ain't suing Ace. Every day, so three days of psychiatric evaluation. Absolutely. And they're they're questioning my mental comprehension, my past trauma, my current trauma. Are these that are they, these are going to be they're going to be against us, aren't they? No. I they thought. Need to, uh... Psychiatrically evaluate with Impush. They hate me. They hate me here. They really do. Why are they going that way? Because they all they all started ganging up on me, Ace. They all started lying together to protect their own. That's what you do. I believe you. I'll go in and get this psychologist, or do you feel comfortable enough to come? I don't want to go inside. I think it's better if I don't. How about I carry you in and close your eyes? Yes, but I want to be on your back. Okay. Oh no, this is good. Okay. I'm gonna close my eyes. Denton's closing his eyes so the trauma doesn't come back. <laughs> I'm not looking. Look your ears. I'm not I looking. Like the trauma's coming back. I'm not looking. I'm not Look looking. I'm not looking. They're gonna lock me in a room again. They're gonna lock me in a room again. They're gonna do it. I can hear footsteps. They're coming after me. But everyone leave me alone. Okay, go ahead and place them down. <laughs> no, no, they don't. I'm not I being put in a room that. again unless you're with me. Okay, do y'all wanna walk to the yep, yep, ER yep. with me then? <laughs> <laughs> But he's um he's being trespassed from the building. He can't be in here unless it's an emergency. Uh, if he needs medical treatment, hold on, hold on. <laughs> they they, 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 they banned me from pillbox. Yeah, I'll bring him out. <laughs> See, they've they've <laughs> okay, social over here again. Hold on, hold on. They've 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 just they've, they've expelled me from the building. Hold on, hold on. Denton's been trespassed from the building, so he can't come in. Is we'll he... wait out hold here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sir, do you? Huh? Do you want me to go get one of our psychologists so you can talk to them? Yes, I, I require one multiple times throughout the next few days. Wait, let me go grab one. Or you'll be in breach of like rules and stuff. 
See, they fucking, they, they fucking, they, they've banned me from the fucking place now. What's, what sort of, um, bicep work yeah, do you do, eh? Bicep? Put me down, Ace. I'm outside now. Ace, you heard what I said before, right? Hey, Joseph, this man's very stressed out. I was just seeing if you wanted to talk What did to you him. say about trespass? That's okay. Here, uh, well, come, come no with me, okay? Yes, thank you. Fire, I appreciate this. Uh, what oh. is your name, sir? Uh, Joseph, oh, how about you? Joseph, uh, Dr. Denton bye Sprinkle bye. of Devonshire. I'm an English physician in my time. Mm. Oh, okay. What do you, what do you practice? I would not like to say at this point. That's okay. We're just going to go for a little tiny walk, okay? Yeah, I'll try. I'm sorry. I'm a bit slow. I'm, that, I'm, that I'm very tired. Okay. I've been, I've been up all night. I've been having mm -hmm. nightmares and stuff and... It's very hard, mate. A lot of mm -hmm. people discriminate against me because I'm... Wrong with the floor. A lot of people discriminate against me because how I look and stuff and because how I dress, but I ain't never yeah. done anything wrong to anyone. We're going to cross the street right here, okay? Yes, sir. Green, I gotta run because I'm slow. <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I like this like. part. There's some there's some benches up here. I like this part. Actually, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're Good man. Right, right here. So, sorry, uh, what was your name again? Denton Sprinkle. That's right, Denton Sprinkles. And and what was the Spr oh, that's right. Sprinkle. You don't, you don't Sing singular, singular. Sprinkle. Okay, sorry about that. It's all right, mate. Everyone does it. How is uh how is your morning so far? Oh, well, actually, what was what was your favorite thing that you've done so far today? Um, well, wake up and realize that I wasn't locked in a room, you know, that's something that's always been disturbing mm. me for a long time, and there's a nice bench next to the bin as well. Yeah. Although, you know, I can't see the medical center, and they might end up trying to get me in a room again, so maybe if we can actually see them, this one, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, mate. It's been it's been about uh, it's been hard for you days. You know, I was mistreated mm -hmm. and it was it was not nice and it brought up a lot of past trauma. Oh. oh, what what happened to you before that kind of brought it back up? Well, I've been I've been I've been I've been detained a lot. I've been I've been kidnapped a lot. I've been put in 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 rooms a lot. I've been locked mm -hmm. away. I've been mm -hmm. kidnapped. It's it's my whole life is just. Everyone picking on me and putting me in places I don't want to be. Yeah. Uh, hey, Denton. Do you have any food on you or maybe some water? I got some food for you if you want it. It's... Oh, no, 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 no that's okay. I, I don't need anything. Just wondering, uh, how are you feeling? Are you a little hungry? A little peckish? I'm, I'm all right. I'm, uh, my needs are, are physical, not, uh, mental, not physical. I, I, I'm okay. in peak mental, peak, peak physical condition. Okay. Here, I got it. I got an idea. Actually, can you stand up for a second? Yes, of course. All right. I want you to just kind of stand where you are, and I want you to look around, okay? So go ahead and just kind of look around. Yes. And I want you to find something. It can be absolutely anything. It could be, it could be something that's very close. It could be far away. It could be somewhere in the middle ground. Just pick I mean, something that you pick bench, something that you like. Highway, city, city hall, court center, okay. large yellow with, crane. Construction site, center. yellow crane, street lamp, which is shaped as an oval ball. Sorry, a mm -hmm. sphere. All right, let's go with the uh, the building across the way, okay? Yes. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to look at that building, and I want you to tell me everything you can see about it. And Shape. what I mean by that is tell me what shapes you see, <laughs> what colors you see. Describe it to me what shape is bigger? Where are those shapes? All right. Those kinds of things. Okay, well, let's be fair. It's shaped like a penis. Okay. It has illumination on four of the major risings, illuminating to the top. It has a peak that has a red tip. It mm -hmm. has... What Let other colors see. do you see? Uh, it's like a light teal, a uh, gray brick building... Uh, you know, like a, you know, I don't know, what well, it's a shade of blue and mm -hmm. teal at the top. Okay. Uh, it's a very, very well-lit building. So, uh, 
sandstone, maybe a limestone colored building. Okay, how many floors do you see? Fucking hell. Oh. Uh, now, you Americans count the ground floor as one or not? It is whatever you see it as. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, and we could argue that the top is 19. I don't know. Okay, it does look like a pretty big room, doesn't it? It's a lot of floors that could be constructed. I mean, I, I couldn't, I couldn't argue whether the, the, the third tier of the building could be hidden by the overlapping second tier rising of the mm -hmm. building. Yes, so there could be hidden me... floors there. That's true. That actually brings me to my second point. How many tiers do you see? Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4, Tier 5? I, I would say 5. I would say okay. that the top part of the of the peak would be considered a tier. Thing? Yeah, it's got like a... It's got like a... I think maybe. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I got... No, no, no. You, you, want a, you want a correct answer? I got... No, that is not an overlapping building. That is simply a, uh, what's it called? An architrave. It's an architrave of the building that is, uh, going around to create an artistic effect. So I would not construe that as a tier. Okay. I'm an educated man. You know, you, a lot of people are. don't realize that, you know? Yet some people just need to sit and, sit and listen for a little bit. That's right. Without detaining right. me illegally. Yeah, let's uh, look at the crane. Yes, sir. What can you tell me about the crane? Highly likely made of stainless steel. Uh, mm -hmm. Galvanized parts. Two red lights at the top indicating the peak and the, uh, you know, the, the vertical outreach. Okay. Uh, lit up in the cab. Very well constructed. You ask me. Okay. Uh, what colors do you see besides the red lights? Uh, it's a yellow crane. Okay. Uh, what other shapes do you see? It depends. I suppose they would be half triangles. I'm not sure what the shape is actually okay. called when it's a when it's a triangle with one part longer than the other. Okay. I don't think that's construed as a triangle. Is it? I don't know shapes. I mean, I I, I should, but. You know, they've okay. studied that sort of thing since, uh, since I was a child. How tall do you think it is from top, from bottom to top? Fucking hell. Uh, 150 feet, maybe. Okay. And how about how long? Well, it can't be longer than the reach. Uh, I don't know. It's probably about 100, probably about 100 feet out as well. Without, without, without proper measurement tools, it's hard to say, Joseph. Okay. Uh, can we... Yeah. Are we allowed to sit in to take notes? We won't speak. Uh, with Mr. Denton. I will, I will allow this, because I trust okay. this man with my life. Okay. Uh, I'll get my secretaries. I'm guessing that is... You, that is... That, that's your lawyer? That's my lawyer. Ace in the hole. He knows his stuff. He knows his okay. rough, but he'll fight for justice and what is right. Okay. Well, I guess while waiting for them to go, let's kind of uh, continue with the uh, with the crane. Yes. Now, when you're looking at the box where I'm guessing the person probably sits, what can you tell me about that? It's not called a box. It's called a cab. It, it Ooh, holds cab. the controls for the uh, the pivoting, the raising of the crane, raising of mm -hmm. the uh, I'm sure what the technical term is called the winch. The winch. It's probably called something much more elaborate since it's a a uh, different kind of construction. In fact, it's probably not called a winch. It's probably called a hoist. Since Ooh. a winch is used to pull something forward, uh, pulling something up, it wouldn't be stated as an anchor either because an anchor will sit something down into the ground. Okay. I think it is called I'm... a hoist. I'm learning a bunch of new things today. Yes, Thank I... you very much. Again, I'm an educated man. Yes, you definitely are. All right, uh, what I'd like you to do, go ahead and sit on the bench. <sighs> there you go. 
All right. So what I'd like you to do is, if you feel comfortable enough doing it, uh, I would like you to go ahead and close your eyes. I will lay. I can lay on the bench. Oh, that's better. All right. So go ahead and close your eyes. <laughs> All right. What I would like you to do is just breathe normally. Just breathe nice and slow. I want you to kind of sit there and listen to your breath for a little bit as you're slowly taking your breath in waiting for a couple seconds then letting your breath go okay so let's try this for a second okay so breathe in <gasps> and pa then pause and slowly breathe out let's go ahead and do that one more time slowly breathe in and now slowly breathe out <sighs> now what i want you to do is for about 30 seconds i'll let you know when when we're done I want you to just listen. I want you to listen to all the sounds that are around you, okay? Okay. And now while you're listening to the sounds, what I want you to do is I want you to pick one particular sound that you can hear. And I want you to focus in on it. Your gentle, comforting voice. <laughs> well, let's go with something that isn't quite my voice because I don't want to be talking through while you're listening. The wonderful hum of Los Santos traffic. Okay. What can you tell me about that hum of the traffic? There's a lot of it. Oh, yeah? What else can you tell? It's detrimental to the environment. However, the commerce and economical impact it has is beneficial to the detrimental effects it has on the environment. Okay. Oh. Let's just concentrate on the sound. We're not going to worry about what what, this, what any of the sounds are doing. Now, when it comes to the nice, gentle hum of the traffic, huh. does it sound close? Does it sound far away? Does it sound like it's under a tunnel? Up that in the sounds, air? I heard close, and now I heard far. Further. Okay. Further. Okay. What mm -hmm. else do you hear around you? Ugh, I can hear ramblings of local citizens talking about their mundane activities. Mm -hmm. Is there oh, any particular? Oh no! Oh, it's, no, no, it's, okay. it's the it's again. Eyes. They've come to open lock me eyes. in. Hey, ah! open your eyes. <laughs> open your eyes. Look at me. Where are you right now? I am on a bench, safe. Mm -mm. Who am I? You are you are Joseph, the psychiatrist, the one who is helping mm -hmm. me overcome. And who this. are the pe who are the people behind me? That is that is Ace in the hole, uh, and, and audibly and squeaky guy with the cane. And where are you now? I am on a bench, just where outside of Pillbox Medical Center. Where? Or should I where? call it that... Pillbox Prison? No, wait, wait. Sorry. Where are you? Where are you not right now? I am not detained. I am not exactly. being held against my will multiple what? times for the benefit what? of others. Wait. What are What are you doing right now? I am. I am relaxing. Mhm. Mm so let's go ahead and let's just do the breathing again, really quick, okay? Take one nice, slow, deep breath in. All right. And now a nice, slow breath out. All right. Perfect. Do you have an item that's in your pockets or something that you're wearing that is one of your favorite items? Um. I don't know. Whoopsie daisy. Like, even if it's just a coin, if it's a lighter, anything. Uh, yeah, I got... I got my light that I like to roll. Okay. So this is what I'd like you to do, okay? I'd like you to take the lighter out of your pocket, and I want you to hold it between your thumb and your forefinger. Okay? And now what I want you to do is slowly just kind of take your thumb and glide it along along the lighter. I want you to sit there and think to yourself, it, what does it feel like? Is it smooth? Well, is it warm? Is it warm from being in your pocket, or is it cool? Well, this is a broken lighter. There's no more flint protruding from the extremity, so it won't okay. light and start okay. a spark. It's 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 a it's it's something that helps me uh, alleviate my anxiety due to there being no mm -hmm. friction, no friction, okay. no no staying power. You know, no holding. Okay. It's just a free mm -hmm. wheel like myself. Just rolls okay. effortlessly and doesn't get detained and held. That's why I mm -hmm. like it so much. There's no resistance, no detainment on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Such a fucking horrible life. Right. So I have one more thing for you to do, okay? Yes. 
Do you have any food on you? Yes, I have. I have multiples. People are very kind to me when I'm not here, you know. People attend to my, my medical needs. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I would like you to do is just, just take one single bite of any food that you would like to take. And what I want you to do is I want you to sit there and think about how it tastes. Think about, is it is it sweet? Is it sour? Is it savory? Is it bitter? Is it juicy? Is it oh, dry? It's American. It's a, it's a very delicious, uh, meaty and flavorful burger that has been grilled to perfection. It has, mm -hmm. quite frankly, f fantastic condiments with it and a side salad to make me not feel that I'm gaining weight and ruining my body. Even though I substantially know that this fast food is detrimental to my health. But mm -hmm. I still enjoy the flavorful bounty of it. Because mm -hmm. I am Denton. And you know what they say. Succulent. You need to enjoy life to really live life. Yes. So, so even if the fast food, uh, the fast food that you eat may have a detriment to your health later on down the road, you, you still need to enjoy the life that you live. Yes. And I try to do that by avoiding the stresses of my past self. Mm -hmm. Which and I am ashamed to say have been unfortunately brought to life and reminded me of awful mm -hmm. times. Awful times. Yeah. Now, Denton, with the things that I had just shown you, this is what I would like you to do, okay? It's okay. Look so, at who's here. I'm Look looking. Look at who's with you. Now, this is what I would like you to do is when you ever find yourself in one of these situations where it feels like you're being held against your will, what I want you to do is look around where you are. Yes. Okay. Realize where you are and find an object in that room and do what we did with the building across the way, okay? I want you to sit there and look at that object. I want you to sit there and tell yourself everything about it. It's, it's, it's red... It's, uh, mm -hmm. made by Bic, which is predominantly made in Spain, believe it or not. Oh, really? Yes. Bic Light is a, a product of sp Spain. It is, uh, okay. it has, it has a, a rigid wheel. However, there's no resistance on the wheel to uh, me having this as my favorite light. I like twirling it. It calms me. It soothes me. But I don't usually need to do it because I have spent my life free in the streets. Not detained. As a homeless man, you see, Joseph, I find that being constrained and withheld against my will detrimental to my health in extremely mm -hmm. detrimental ways. Ah. Uh, now remember, so whenever you are in one of these situations... This is what I want you to do. I want you to look at one of these things or even take out the lighter out of mm -hmm. your pocket and sit there and play with it in your hand. And I want you to focus on that lighter. I want you to sit there and focus on that lighter so that nothing else around you really matters in yes. that moment. Okay. Yes, 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 I am doing that. And then I need you to sit there and just especially say if you're <sighs> now like right now, I want you to sit <sighs> there. Oh, <sighs> hey, hey, Denton, Denton, yes. where's your lighter? In my hand. What are you doing with it? I'm I am flicking the wheel. I'm mm -hmm. flicking the wheel. Yeah. I'm flicking what the wheel. What else are you doing? I'm laying on the bench with my good friend Joseph and my free mm -hmm. trusted lawyers. How how does the lighter feel in your hand? Does it feel warm or does it feel cool? I'm cool because it's not full of any butane, which is the main component for a, a lighter. Mhm. Mm there you go. And how are you feeling right now? Calmer. Calmer. Mm -hmm. So, like I was saying, I would like you to uh, just sit there, and when you have these things happen to you, when you feel like you're being detained, I want you to just sit there and just take that one deep breath, take your take out your lighter, and focus on your lighter. I feel no 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 stress of detonation when I hear when I am doing this. However, the only mm -hmm. fear that I feel of detonation is when I'm hearing either EMS related uh, ambulance klaxons. Or when I am in their custody, since they def they say they, they they want to put me back in there, and I don't want to be held in there. I don't know why they put me yeah, in no. there. Why hey, did they put Denton, me in Denton, there? Denton, Denton. Why? Denton. Denton. Oh. Just keep rolling okay. the wheel. I'm sorry. 
Mm -hmm. ah! Okay. I'm sorry. Now, why do they keep doing okay. this? They're mocking me. They're not mocking you. Do you know what their job is, Denton? To keep me detained. No, that is not their job. Until law what enforcement arrives to arrest me, what? which I, I have no problem with the law enforcement. If I am being detained mm -hmm. by the law enforcement, there is a rightful reason. Yeah. But to be to be detained by a medical professional who I have my unholy and godlike trust in. Mm -hmm. Denton, keep spinning that wheel. <laughs> there you go. Now I just want you to focus on the letter for a second, okay? And then listen to my voice. <laughs> yes. The EMS staff are not there to detain you. Oh! I know sometimes, like, especially when they have you in a bed or they have you in a room to do some things, that is usually there so that they can do something to help you. Now, unfortunately, you have had some experiences in your in your past that makes it that makes <laughs> brings these things up and makes you feel like makes it feel like people are doing things that they are not doing. But I need you to realize, okay, I know a lot of the EMS very well, and same with some of the doctors, and they are some of the nicest people I've ever met, and they wouldn't hurt a fly. The they would, they would goal, detain it, I think. The only time that they would ever do anything to an individual is to give them care. Wrong. That is Wrong. their job. They're there to care for Wrong. you. Wrong. If, if for some reason you mistook something that they're doing as detaining you, I know that that eats them up inside. They do not want you to feel like that. Because just think about it like when you were a doctor, okay? What was your main goal? To ins well, for, I would to, to better to, for better health care of all those around me. Mm -hmm. And I, exactly. I took an oath not to break any law. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I need you to remember these these individuals here, these amazing individuals that want to be your friend. They do. They they are they think the exact same way. They're there to help you. I I, I I do not believe you. I do not believe you. If they did such, then why would they illegally lead me into a room under false pretense and then detain mm -hmm. me illegally? Why would they do that, Joseph? Why? Denton, Bias. I need you to answer something honestly for me, okay? Yes, anything. Is there any chance at all that you have maybe misread this situation and mistook it? Absolutely not. I am completely full of my facilities. I am a competent man. I am an educated man. And I know what I heard and I know what was uttered to me. I was led into a room under false pretense of checking their new medical facilities, which I was intrigued due to my past history as a doctor, which then I was illegally detained in there and rescued by Officer Poppy. Do you know who had illegally detained you? Dr. Francesca, or Fran Francisco. I can't, I can't recall her name. My lawyers retained that information due to the stress that I'm facing from what she had done to me. Mm -hmm. Now, you know that with her, she has a very, very busy job. She has a lot on her plate and she is still doing everything she can to take care of everyone that is under her. She is an absolutely wonderful nope. human being. Now, I got to meet her for the first time this morning and have a really nice talk. I understand, but... That also does not mean that you can break the law and then openly lie about it in front of a law enforcement officers. No, I know the right. law, sir. I am informed. I mm -hmm. am an informed citizen. I will mm -hmm. not be judged due to my appearance. Yeah, and that's perfectly... And you have that right, sir. <laughs> but just remember, yeah, all these people he's here, it may look like something that happened, but he's, I promise you, all these people only nope. want to help you. He's being biased. He's being biased. Then they should have helped me through the appropriate channels and methods. <laughs> and maybe they were a little confused because no, sometimes, no. sometimes when people come in and they're being very loud and they're being, they're, they have a lot of emotion behind things, things can get drowned out, words can get dropped, or words can get missed, and they won't fully understand or hear exactly what you're saying. Are you suggesting that I was disrupted at Pillbox Hospital? What is this? I'm just saying that there are times when you can be loud. And sometimes when people are loud, they can take that in a different way. And sometimes when people are loud, uh, pe other people, they don't think quite as clearly. I and do so not agree like... with you. I was in the hospital to speak to like-minded people and I was led into mm -hmm. a room under false pretense yet again. 
I was not loud or disruptive. I was in fact on my way out as I was being illegally detained. Why are you, why are you bringing you, why you don't believe me? Why does no one believe me that I, I have been held against my will more times than I can count? Denton, I need you, I need you to sit there and just breathe really quickly for me, okay? Nice and slow, (laughs) nice and slow. Keep twirling the wheel on your lighter, okay? I want you to listen to my voice. You fucking listen to bias as fuck. <laughs> my voice is, okay? Now, uh, now, let's do one little breath in, okay? Breathe in. <gasps> there you go. Now slowly let it out. Slowly. <laughs> okay, let's do that one more time. Breathe in slowly. <gasps> now slowly let it out. There you go. How are you feeling? I am feeling much more calmer. Mm-hmm. It's very now, biased. I want to talk about something that will probably be a little bit uncomfortable, okay? Yes. Uh, would you like to still do this with everyone in here, or would you like it just to be myself and you? I would like my lawyer present. That's okay. <laughs> what I would like to do is I would like to ask you about what was the very first time that you had been detained? Oh, God. It's all the time. But the... I remember. Oh, uh, keep, keep twirling your wheel. There's a, there is a, there's a room down under the bridge, mm-hmm. where I was put in before, by a bunch yeah. of bullies, a bunch of gang okay. members. They put me in there, and they said, mm-hmm. "Denton, hey, you Denton, will." Be- Denton. Yes. Who are you? Who are you talking with right now? Joseph. Mm-hmm. Who else is here? My good friend and lawyer, Ace in the Hole. Mm-hmm. And who are we? You or, or are. What are we here to do? You, you, you are, you are, you are, you are a psychologist, and he is a certified bar lawyer. Oh God, mm-hmm. that noise! And, and what are we doing here right now? We're trying to ascertain my grief and my psychological distress. Yes, we are trying to help you. All right. And what I need to do is, as you tell the story, I need you to remember that. Okay. Yes. You're you're here on a yes. bench. Yes. I will you're focus. Here, you're here with me, and you're here with your good friend. Okay, now if you'd like, I'd like to do continue with uh, with what had happened the first time. Well, the very first time was when my mother used to lock me in a closet when I was young. She used to come home drunk, and for whatever reason she would find, she used to call it Denton in a closet game, where she would say, Denton, it's, it's, time, for, it's time for dinner, and she would take me in, she promised me macaroni and cheese, but she would put me in a closet, and she would lock it and she would start kicking it and she would start kicking it and kicking it. Uh, I'd be like, please let me out. I don't want to be in here. This is inhumane of you. And she would continually yeah. do this. And, and then uh, how, how did you get out of there? Eventually, she, the macaroni and cheese would be ready and she would give it to me. That, and then she would, my dependency on her would be almost artificial. That she would seem to think that this sort of this sort of detainment was rewarded with macaroni and cheese. However, it was it was it was it was often spoiled food and spoiled cheese. She was an awful lady to me from birth. Mm-hmm. And then and following how- up that, a lot of my schoolmates used to find it funny to do it, to lock me in closets and cupboards, because they knew that I had this psychological trauma that followed me for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. Ever, ever since that moment, I have faced aggression from people due to my trauma. Multiple people trying to take me hostage for their financial and egotistical gains on the street for bragging rights. I have been the subject of mockery. It's, it's an ongoing problem, Joseph, that I have mm-hmm. faced for my entire life. Many times I wake up screaming. That's why I chose to be homeless. It's got nothing to do to mm-hmm. the detrimental problems i'm not a drug taker i just i don't want to live inside of somewhere i don't want to be held in somewhere i keep myself Mm -hmm. to myself i Mm -hmm. i spend my times in the streets i i walk around i just need freedom you can't cage a canary you shouldn't Mm -hmm. now where are you right now i am on the bench adjacent to del perro freeway Mm -hmm. what city are you in Los Santos, the greatest city ever made. 
Do you know what that means? Please elaborate from that. Do you do you know what all of that means? Everything that we just said. It means I'm outside. I'm it means, I'm it safe. Means, it means that you are still alive. And the reason that you are still alive is because you are a fighter. Oh, I am. You are a fighter and you're sitting here. And what you went through is something that no one should ever have to go through. What she did to you while you're growing up, especially with the with the cheese and that and giving you the running food, no one should ever have to live through that. Uh -huh. And I know that you definitely have a lot of difficulties coming from that and dealing with that. And I would like to help you uh, help you get over some of those things. It's not something that we'll be able to take care of right away, but it is something that we will be able to hopefully take, take control of yes. over a little bit of time, okay? I will attend every day if you if you will do such a thing. Mm -hmm. we, we won't do it every day, but we will definitely make it a regular thing. And I want to make it so that I can get you nice and comfortable to being inside of rooms. And I w the main goal is to make sure that you realize that you can be inside that room and you're going to be okay. Yes. And there's, and there's two reasons that you're going to be okay. One, because you are a fighter and you have that strength inside of you yes. to, keep, to keep on going. Look at everything you've been through in your life, and you are still here. Yes. You're, st you're still here being the same strong person that you've always been. And the only, the only thing is, is you need help. And that is what I'm here to do. I understand, Joseph. And with your permission, so, so I just want to lay out something that I do want to do. So over the first few sessions, what we're going to do is we're going to do what we're doing right now. We're going to have nice, calm conversations. We're going to dig into your past a little bit, and we're going to bring some things up. We're going to try to flush those out and make it so that you can recognize them and see them for what they are. Be and very find biased. ways to be able to be okay and deal with them in the end. And once you're being okay with all these things, the last thing I want to be able to do is I want to be able to bring you into the hospital, and we're going to talk through everything. Every single step, if you need it, we will sit there and discuss how you're feeling in that moment, what your fears are in that moment, and how you yourself are helping yourself to get through that moment. And I would like to get you to about the same area where you were before, where you felt like you were being detained. And I want you to get, I want you to be, to get to a point where you feel very comfortable with being there and realize that these people are not here to hurt you. They are here to help you. I understand that, Joseph. I have no problem being in a room as long as it's consensual. Mm -hmm. And as long as I've been fully informed of the situation and not left there without any prior interaction or verbal indications. Mm -hmm. And when you have little things, or even if you miss like the most minute little thing, a lot of these old memories can still come up and take over your feelings right in that moment. And then it'll just bring everything back and your brain does will play tricks on you and make you sit there and start thinking some different things. And I want to help you get over that. So this is what I would like to do right now, okay? Let's sit here. I would like to officially make you as one of my patients. Yes! And I would like you just to see you again tomorrow. How does that sound? That is, that is, that is superfluous, Joseph. I will, I will okay. be here the exact same time on the dot, if you don't mind. That sounds perfect. We're going to be doing two evaluations each day for three days. Uh, one with you and one with uh, Dr. Lipschitz, I believe. Oh, wait, is Dr. Lipschitz already seeing him? Uh, no, I'd like to ask her as well so we have as much evidence as possible. This is this is a great, this is a very interesting case. Okay. It's a very interesting yeah, case. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to where this goes. The role play, the role play, and the, the way Denton is manipulating this, but okay. I, he's not manipulating. So how does that sound? In yes. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Joseph. You're a very good, you're a very good, good person. I appreciate you taking the time. I'm sorry if I got a little bit. Um. No, it's okay. Uh, everyone, everyone has their own things that they are dealing with. 
Every, everyone has these little things and I'm more than willing to sit here and spend the time and I will help you as long as you want the help. Yes, I do, I do. Okay, anyways, uh, I will, just, uh, yeah. Could you please uh, forward me the report from this session? Uh, that is all up to... I consent to my lawyer having full information of my, our sessions and further sessions and any sessions connecting with any other doctors and psychiatrists. Okay. Uh, Just what? a, uh, were you going to ask what do I need? I should give him a power of attorney. P.O. Box. <laughs> um, LF359. LF359 sounds good. And if possible, just a comprehensive report of his mental state, uh, just everything basically. You're the, was... you're the psychologist, so you know what to include. I will get something written up at some point today and I'll definitely make sure that you get it. Thank you. What happened Absolutely. to my backpack? I hate it. I hate it. It's horrible. Although it goes with this... I don't like tartan. I don't know why. It annoys the fuck out of me. It's like, make up your mind what fucking color you are. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you for your time today. No problem. You're, I'm not going to call it evidence, but your expert. You Opinion. know. This is it. This is a very interesting, uh, very interesting case. This, this uh, you know, evaluation has been invaluable mm -hmm. to making sure that uh, Denton gets the proper help that he needs. All right. I agree. And hopefully, it does help as well. Mm -hmm. All right. I bid you all a good afternoon, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, Joseph. Goodbye, Joseph. How you feeling, Denton? Feeling like a million pennies? He was biased as fuck. I could tell. That's How why so? I said we're gonna get we're gonna get Doctor Lipschitz as well. Yeah. He was biased as fuck trying to tell me that she was doing that on her own goodwill. She was doing it so she could get the cops here without fucking me running off. So she could sue me was... for impersonation. Yep, that was my theory that I gave to um, Audrey. That I think that what she did was... Isn't this the guy we fucked over? On impersonation, so she locked you in a room. Yeah. I... Knowing that, you know, that's... Yeah. Oh. And that's horrible, you know. She doesn't know if you're, you know, if you're claustrophobic. She doesn't know anything like that. And it's heavily illegal. Like, like the, the, and because what? Because of how I look. That's why she did it. Would she have done that with someone else? Well, it's still illegal. It don't matter who well, you do it to. What's, it's... what's even worse is it seems that she would have done that to anyone, regardless. Yeah. And that's the horrible thing. Yeah. And I. I am naturally in the streets. That's why I'm homeless. I choose to be homeless due to my past and my past trauma. Mm hmm Don't fence me in. Well, gentlemen, I do believe we I'm gonna go and buy myself a suit for the court date as well. So just to clarify, um we're gonna try our best to get a settlement. Where they pay you without having to go through the big headache of court. Yes. Um, but if yes. it doesn't succeed, then it's Ace's decision. I'll settle out a court, Ace. If if I think we'll be asking that... for about twelve thousand, including punitive damages Ooh! and legal fees. What about employment as an EMS driver? Uh, I don't think they can guarantee that. I would like that just as a kick in the teeth, you know, to them say, yeah. You ain't gonna have Dr. Denton, well I'm gonna be EMS Denton. What about what about an experience day where you can learn about how pillbox <laughs> Yes, that, oh, that would be, be quite amusing. As well as twelve thousand dollars. Cause she's she's in trouble for this. That's a that's a that's a big no no, isn't it? Um your opinion, eh? Absolutely. She's the head what of the, of pillbox. She is? Yeah, could you oh, only okay. go... To, uh, let me show you what I was wearing as well when I was detained. All right. All right. Martin, your opinion? Mm -hmm. On? Um, would the... Uh, would a picture of what he was wearing on the day, but it's not on the day, would that be admissible? <laughs> You're my boss. I don't know. It's a confusing one, because it's like... It's like demonstrative evidence. I might have to reference um, the library for... 
Yes, you're gonna have to go and ask the um. As pink suits his car, his okay, car. Okay, I'm only using it as an illustration for reference. So let's say, um, let 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 us let, say Rooney, uh, reference to exhibit A. What do you would uh, see? Uh, what what did you say you were wearing? A white coat. Is a white coat? overcoat with a white undershirt, a stethoscope, yep. and these pants. That was it. Yep. Describe the picture in front of you, Rooney. Yes, White Jacko, is that what she, he was wearing on the day? Yes, and that's really all we could use it for. I have limited but options due to my recently. financial status. Uh, well, Sorry? let's 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 take that photo with your excellent camera then, so we've got that for an exhibit. Oh yes, I'm gonna have to go and pick that up. I don't have my backpack with me. I'll, uh, where do you want to uh, meet? We'll meet at the clothes shop on. Howick, you. Howick. Perfect. Be there. Don't be late like you were last time. I think I. I, think I remember. I think I got really drunk with that guy once. Oh. Fuck. Ooh. I think. You don't I, remember it. That means it would have been a good night. Yeah. Yeah. He jumped into a pool and, I, and he drowned for like seven minutes. <laughs> Do you remember his squeaky voice? Yeah. Cause. It was, it was, I can't remember, we just got really drunk and he just jumped out because I got, I got a place. A lot of people are nice to me, you know, I got, I got somebody who gave me a place to say, but I don't stay there. He might be a good witness of my character. Because you don't like confined spaces. I don't. Jack Ripley, his name is, he's a good guy. Where have I heard that name? He's facing a... He's, he got charged seven thousand dollars for trespassing. Ah, uh, I think I heard about that. Right. Oh wow. Yeah, this is what I was wearing. I'm wearing this. This was it. And I thought, uh, 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 this is not legal. Were you wearing the backpack or no backpack? I cannot recall. For whatever reason, today I can't remove it. It used to be blue. But now it's tartan and I hate it. Tartan pisses me off. It's like, make your mind up. Are you red, black, striped? Like, what is it? It's sort of like a flannel shirt. Yeah. And the stethoscope, stethoscope is to measure my own heart rate. Because sometimes if I get alleviated heart, heart uh, problems, uh, I've got a heart condition called beating heart. So this is it. This is, this is, this is what I was wearing. We're going to uh, get a photo from Mr. Martin's nice Polaroid camera for the for the evidence. Okay. I don't want this backpack on. It pisses me off. Have you uh, put your hands up? You're a genius, Ace. You're a bloody genius. No We're going to be millionaires, mate. Million pennyers. Million pennyers. And then we can sue more people in the future. Mate, honestly, I got buckets of, of shit that's gone wrong. People trying to do all sorts of unlawful shit. Because the thing they is... think they can use you just because you choose to have no home? Yes, because they judge me because sometimes I slur, but then they forget that when, once I open up the can of Denton and they're like, shit, this guy knows all his fucking rights, all his amendments and shit. I'm like, yeah, that's right. Sixth Amendment is my right to legal counsel. You should, you know, half the cops don't even know that. Don't know what? The, the Sixth Amendment is my right to legal counsel. The, the Fifth Amendment I, I is my that. right to remain silent. The uh, Miranda rights. Absolutely. What's your Third Amendment? Oh, isn't that like not to, not to be detained, actually, isn't it? No, it's something to do with soldier quartering. It's some dumb thing. Oh, uh, the right to militias or something. Militias, uh, to have a militia ready or something. No, it's the, uh, it's the right to not have soldiers sleep in your house with, with force or something like that. Ah! It's a dumb one. It's never used nowadays. Yeah, I bet it was the, like um, for when... The second one is the guns. I bet that was a Civil War thing. Squeaky guy! Squeaky guy. What we saying? My, na my name is Anthony Matthew Martin. Speak up, mate! My name is Matthew Martin. My 
name is Matthew Martin. Matthew. I love a bit of meth. Would you like to get your photo taken? Yes, sir. Oh, right. Are you going to pose for the court? Yes. What could I do that would, like, sort of say fuck you? Let's but get a good backdrop. Maybe Ooh. a thumbs up. Uh, well, we actually need you to be pretty neutral because if you're smiling, then they might question your, um, I don't know you, whether you're taking the case seriously or not. Just worst case scenario. We can, oh, we can, oh, you know, be smiley and cheery after we take the photo. That's it. I'll just be like this. It's... How do you feel about that, that's, Mr. Denton? That's fabulous. We need to, uh, get a neutral backdrop. Though, neutral backdrop. A Yeti? Or just a door, yeah, just a door. Seems uh, good to perhaps. me. Ooh, this court case. It's gonna be a spicy ball. Alright, just give it a couple seconds. Oh, Righty-o. Yeah. Den Righty-o. Mr. Denton. Yes. Stand still for me. Stay oh, still, stay still. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to have a look what you were wearing. So your shoes are not anywhere near a door? Nope. Gloves are simply for my own sanitary reasons. They're actually leather-wrapped shoes. They're just leather wraps around my feet. This is my exact attire to a T. But when I was locked in there, Ace, I was scared. So I stripped down to grease myself because I thought I was going to have to fight in combat. Since I was given no explanation to why I was being detained in a room. I see. And what does greasing yourself up do? They can't. Up? They try and grab me, I'll end up slipping out their hands. And then I'm just like, I'll just get my knees, you know. But I didn't pull a weapon. I didn't pull a weapon. I was going to. I was scared to at one point. But then Poppy, I know Poppy, me and her talk about training dogs all the time. So are we good here? Because i got to go and get some food and have a, have a wake up and some coffee. Oh, of course. I can right. leave at any time, Mr. Um, Denton. Yeah, I'm fine here as well. All right, well, I'll yeah. be around today, you know, causing trouble. Um, I'll go to my appointment oh, tomorrow sure. at 10.30 Eastern, and then I'll arrange... Could you, also, um, could you also arrange an appointment with Dr. Lipschitz? She's yes. the head of psychology, and she should be able to provide another opinion. Perhaps you could do another three with her as well, consecutively. Absolutely, mate. Day as well with her. Not a problem. And then just if you can get them to forward all of their reports, which will be six in total, to my postal, which I believe you have. Perfect. Mr. Right. Love Spades, attorney at law, reporting for duty. Oh, I can't wait, mate. Are, are we doing another one? No, no, I was just. I can't. Um... Justice finally, mate, because this this has gone on long enough. This is crazy. Well, after all, Denton, we are working for you, and uh, whatever direction that you want to take this, well, we'll take it. We working for justice. I just, I just don't understand. I was leaving. I went to get a coffee, and I was leaving, and she goaded me into that room. I don't care who you are. If you're going to do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. All right, let's get the Denton in. Perfect! As they say, gentlemen, uh... Yes, it's been a pleasure, as always. I'm gonna go and mess up Jack's room, because he let me live there, and he shouldn't, because I'm a nightmare. And I store lots of drugs there. Allegedly. Mm-hmm. It's been, uh... Hi, Mr. An Denton. Experience. It's been a pleasure. It has, as always. Goodbye, gentlemen! Hell yeah! <laughs> Learn to fly again. That was the guy's car. I should have stole his car. So that was the guy from the other day. So this is really interesting, guys. We've got we've got a proper 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 court case going up from this. There there, there was a that was a fucking huge mistake she made. Uh, doing that. Detaining Denton? Bro, you don't detain the dent. You don't detain the dent unlawfully. I like the fact that this is a very similar character to, um... It's, it's very similar to Billy, but he's more informed. Like, at, at the drop of a hat, 
he'll switch it to you. He'll switch it and he'll be like, don't fucking, don't do this shit. Yeah, the, the photo is evidence of what he was wearing, that he was not posing as a doctor. He was simply informing people that he was a doctor. Hey! Stop! Ah! Oh, God! No, stop! Oh, God! I want to ride. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is too fast. Yeah, thank you. Oh, God. I'm only asking for a ride. This is too fast. Oh. She shouldn't have. She shouldn't have done that. She shouldn't have committed that crime. Because she committed a crime. And I, I don't know. That's not very nice. It's not a very nice thing to do. You, you commit a crime, you need to be held accountable.